those Marines. Most gonna have to spread them out very carefully. And of course, this siege tank policy means that this is very, very slow. He's gonna have to be very careful with where he places his siege tanks. The Mutalists just continue to hold around right here. We do have seven Banelings, and we're looking at a Great Aspire as well. Merz picks off a couple of Banelings, but of course he will get ripped apart. He's got a few ideas about how large that Mutalist flock is, which is not so great. And Merz with a counterattack, but however, he's unable to catch Idra out of position. It's going to be very difficult to hit this from the ground, but he does have 92 Zerglings, and that's certainly something to consider. So that massed amount of Zerglings may help. And if Merz tries to wall this area off with Marines, it'll become very vulnerable to getting hit with a fungal growth. So he's damned if he does, and damned if he doesn't right now. He's able to get some good mining going on behind this, so his Marine Cannon's looking good. But there's the charge right here into the line. So brutal that it's slowing the frame rate down. That's how bad this is. Charging through right there. We've got Infested Terrans coming in as well. And Merz is able to absorb that. Takes a huge amount of losses in the process, but here comes his counterattack. Most of the siege tanks actually survived. I'm really unsure what that infested terror nonsense was because Idra might have just given that one to Merz. We're about to find out. What is his mutilus count like? It's not good. It is not good at all. If he can cover those tanks, he can do immense damage to Idra right here. More units coming in. A couple of Broodlords on the way, but of course Marines stream across the field. They're going to upgrade count for Merz as well. Merz pushing in once again. There's reinforcements coming in from the back, as you can see. Charging his way into the defensive line, and Idra forced to pull drones in order to try and defend against this. Merz is leaving these exposed to, say, Broodlord attack, but the Mutalist count is completely gone. He's even getting some shelling on these Zerglings as well. A lot of pressure coming in right here from Merz. Merz is doing incredibly well right now. He's got a flanking maneuver going on. He tries to get his opponent in a pincer movement. Merz pushes forward once again. He is actually scared of that Broodlord. I don't really blame him. The Broodlord is doing a good job of trying to keep those tanks out of position. But Merz is streaming across the field right now. He thinks he's got this, and he may be right. We're about to find out. The thing is, Idra does have spare bases, and even losing this will not cripple him, but it will certainly take his tech out, and that's perhaps the most important thing. Merz continues to push forward once again. Bit of a fungal growth on the back right there. He loses a few Marines. He's okay, though. Evolution Chamber down. Bailing Nest going down as well. Second Evolution Chamber taking major shelling right here. Where is Idra's army? Idra is streaming units across the field, but the army count is not looking pretty for Idra at all. 86 to 40 right now as Merz continues with this aggression. Spawning pool is down right here for Merz. Idra is in massive amounts of trouble right now. This is going to be incredibly hard to come back from. He does have Rude Lords on the field. That will certainly help. However, Merz has enough firepower to deal with it, and it looks like he might even catch those out of position. Idra starting to move in with a lot of shine. Bailing detonation wipes out Merz's force right there. And here comes Idra's counterattack. Unfortunately, it consists mostly of Broodlords and drones. Is it going to be enough? It will because of the lack of anti-air right here. Merz is getting cleaned up. Idra is not out yet. And this is the kind of Idra we like to see. Tenacious. He's not willing to quit on this particular game. And I don't blame him. He's got a good army supply, has a tech advantage, and he's got some fantastic units on the field. Merz needs to get the hell out of there immediately and stop throwing his units in one after another. This is a classic mistake. Don't do that. He needs to mass his force and go in for a real attack. If he lets Idra get back from that position, he's going to be in huge amounts of trouble. Idra still has Broodlords. He still has his Great Aspire. That was not destroyed. Merz applying pressure right now to the expansions of Idra. Wants to nail them down as quickly as possible, as you can very clearly see right there. Zergling swarm in and annihilate Merz's forces very easily. Army count is still in favor of Merz, however, but Idra is not down yet. The problem is most of his technology got gutted. Baneling Nest is being rebuilt. Level three upgrade coming in for Merz right now. He's going in for the kill. He smells blood. He's got the upgrades to do it. He has the units to do it. He just needs to be patient with it and attack at the right time. Idra is on the back foot. Idra's economy is in a lot of trouble right now. As you can very clearly see, his army has been shredded and most of his tech buildings have been destroyed. There are no infestors coming up for Idra. There are Broodlords, there are Zerglings, there are Banelings. That's what he's relying on right now. Merz, incredible pressure right there. A lot of firepower coming in. The Queen's melted almost immediately. There are Mutalisks in the back as well. Certainly something to consider, as you can very clearly see. Thor's on the way, however, to deal with that. Merz has a good amount of them, and Merz is not letting up right now. The Banelings nest is going to go down once again. There are very few Banelings deployed for Idra. He only got two out in the time. Mass rank firepower coming in right here from those Marines. In come the Mutalisks, however. It looks like he's going to get a cleanup right here, but he's still lost yet another base in the process. He's reforced all the way back to a single base here. This base, of course, is entirely mined out. GG, ladies and gentlemen. What a sensational game right there by Merz, who takes the series 2-1 in his best of three series against the mighty Idra.